um, apparently drove up to the Culver Center where this event was taking place today and opened fire and Garland police along with the Garland ISD police engaged them in returning the fire. Uh, for certain, those two are down. Uh, and one Garland ISD officer. That's all that we can confirm. There are unconfirmed reports that maybe even a Garland police officer was also wounded. We've not been able to confirm that through our sources. I can tell you that some members of the Tea Party who uh, were demonstrating against outside protesting this event uh, have been evacuated away to a remote undisclosed location. There were also some evacuations in and around that area, businesses around the Culver Center on on one side is the George Bush Turnpike, the other side North Garland Avenue where there's a Walmart, um, Matt's restaurant, uh, and a lot of other strip center like businesses. Some of those would have already been closed because it was Sunday, some closing at 6 o'clock. So that's what we know to report to you. All right, Sean, I'm going to jump in here for just a second. We do have an update on the Garland IS ISD officer uh, that was shot. He was injured. We know that his name is Bruce Joyner. He was shot once in the leg. Uh, we understand that he has already been released from the hospital. So, that's good um, news. Yeah, very good news, and uh, we're told that he has been with the district eight years. So that's a uh, security officer, a uh, Garland ISD officer, Bruce Joyner, shot once in the leg. Before we let you go, Sean, I want to ask you about if you've heard anything. We've been watching in the fading light on Sky 4 what appears to be a couple of bomb robots, I don't know if that's the right terminology, around a car in the street and possibly a, a body in the street. Have you heard anything about, uh, I know we were told Plano police, I think, involved in the bomb investigation, possible I, bomb investigation. Plano Police, Irving Police, Rowlett Police, Department of Public Safety, the Garland Troopers Company B, their station there in Garland, all of those are involved in terms of which department's robot that might be in that car looking for the, a, a potential bomb. I don't know the answer. To that. Yeah, Sean, it looks like in these live pictures, and again, we're, we're it's it's pretty dark outside, so it's very hard to see, but um, it, you, you can kind of make out what looks to be that uh, that robot there on the screen still on scene. Right. I am not looking at your images. I'm in a position where I can't see right now, but I have been able to talk to some people who are on scene, and that's what they have shared with me. For folks who are just joining us, let's sum up that there was an event there at the Caldwell Center called Draw the Profit, $10,000 in prizes being awarded for people who did art or cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, it was set up by a group called American Freedom Defense Initiative, uh, and this is, of course, the site of an earlier Stand with the Prophet Muslim conference that drew a lot of anti-Muslim protesters back in January. This art contest very much in response to that earlier event called Stand with the Prophet, and tonight police are not confirming that the shootout is tied to the art contest, not denying it, apparently have not made a 100% connection yet, and we're waiting on a news conference in which potentially we'll hear more about that. Okay, and, and right. if this, this image uh, that we're looking at right now, these live pictures, it appears as if... And again, difficult to see, but that that robot may have gone up to the driver's side door of the vehicle that's uh, still parked there at the scene, uh, potentially you know, the, the suspect vehicle uh, that these two men may have, uh, may have pulled up in. And again, I think we've been watching two of those robots, and I know 